You gotta see what made the weekly cut this week. Let's light it up. So, we nice. got new knives of the week. This week, right here at SMKW, we're gonna start off with our buddy Ben Belkin, Jack Wolf Knives. And uh, we've got the laid back Jack here. Really, really dig this. And he's got one that's a little bit different. I think everybody's from, gonna uh, be fighting for that one. From anything that he's done. And I really dig this. So he did uh, Cure Knight on the handles, nice and slim. And also did all black coated on the titanium and on that S90V blade right there. So uh, let's take a look at that one up close right there. So it's gonna be a sway back with the nice Warncliffe blade right there and absolutely beautifully done. So all black hardware, all black on the back spring, on the bolsters, on the frame, and on that S90V Warncliffe blade right there. Now that's not the only one, but that is the only one coming in that colorway. All of these are gonna run $299.99. We've also got it in the Rosewood. Now, is this the first time they've done rosewood on these yes. as well? Yes, as far as I know, I yes. I didn't yes. remember seeing a wood. I don't remember seeing a rosewood. And typically, wood's not my favorite, but it does complement the titanium, that uh, that sandblasted titanium, really, really nicely. So, we've also got the jigged titanium. Mm -hmm. And, of course, having the jigged titanium, we would also have the smooth titanium as well. It's always good to have options. All of these in S90V. And then, of course, the Lava Flow Fat Carbon right there. That one's, that one's still just, it pops. It's really So gorgeous. many people's favorite. And what I dig about these is that there's so much you can do with the titanium. Oh, yeah. You can polish it. You can anodize it. You can do flaming on it. It's, uh, it's really, really cool. And I dig the Warncliffe shape. It's not typically my favorite blade shape, but on a swayback, it's a very, I think it's what belongs, really. It's a very workable blade. You can yeah. use it for just about anything, anything from woodworking to opening packages. Uh, it's an EDC as well as a worker. And the, for me, for the titanium, the one thing you didn't mention that everybody overlooks, leave it alone because yeah. it looks great just the way it is. Yeah, it does. It, I it's really very do. classy. Um, and those are all coming in at $299.99. Mm -hmm. Two ninety nine ninety nine. Those will be available. Uh, actually, we're just made available. They, so as of the filming of this, it'll be in two days. But when this comes out, when this airs next week, then they will have been available for a few days at that point. Days of future so, past problems. Click the link in the description below. Uh, up next, this one's kind of interesting, and I saw this one. I love this and designer. Was uh, so this is uh, designed by Daryl Caston, mm -hmm. and um, really. Really interesting design right there. So aluminum on the handles, uh, it is magnetically held in place. So let's actually show that like working on camera. So you can see it pull apart right here. The blade is still inside the back side of the handle right there. Then as you pull it around, the blade is gonna come out and then it's gonna lock in place right there. And this is more of a chisel grind. So this side is completely flat. Uh, no grind on that at all. This side is going to be a hollow grind. So I would call this a hollow chisel. I can see where that comes from. I, I would call this a hollow chisel. That is, that is what I would call it. Um, this one is in D2. Both sides are going to be aluminum. The front side is going to be the natural aluminum. The back side is going to be black anodized aluminum and just a really cool little uh, EDC knife right there. If I can get the camera to focus, that'd be, that'd be awesome. There we, there go. we go. That's it you right there. You a shout out. That's what the problem was. Yeah, I had to talk about the R5 to get it to cooperate right oh, there. Well, you've been using it outdoors. It's not used to that. It's not used to sunlight. Yeah. Did you put sunscreen on it? I did not. Ugh. I did not, but it's got a regular screen, not oh, a sunscreen. Um, that one's coming in at $45.95. Again, D2 on the blade steel, aluminum on the handles. I and handed that one to, uh, to Dylan yesterday and just didn't tell him how to open it, anything else. It took him a good three or four minutes. I think that is the bar bet knife uh, for everybody right there. Like yeah. in Blackie Hollins, yep. hand it to somebody, give them 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and get yourself a free drink. Yep, I like it. And speaking of Boker, we've got a couple of new Boker Magnums. Mm -hmm. And these things, I tell you what, they've really stepped up their game on their Magnum line and what these are offering. And there's several companies out there uh, like Boker, like Schrade, that are offering, uh, like uh, 
uh, Gerber as well mm -hmm. that are offering really good EDC knives at a really awesome price point. And I really think that's where the market's headed right now, uh, especially with the economy being what it is. Mm -hmm. um, doing and we don't want to, you know, we don't want to talk doom and gloom, but people are being more budget conscious and budget minded. And something like this is going to do really well. This is the Boker Magnum Rock Stub Brown Micarta. And uh, this is going to be their version of a bar lock knife, a crossbar lock, mm -hmm. um, deep carry pocket clip, one way pocket clip. Um, but that's going to be one of the areas where they save money. Ambi thumb studs, again with the crossbar lock, 440B on the blade steel. So uh, a little bit of an upgrade in blade steel. It's not 440A, it's, it is 440B. It surprised and me when I saw that yesterday. Really good ergonomics. Nice black wash on the blade. I like the finish. And just really good action as well. It pops really nicely. Um, and locks in place. I will say there's no blade play at all right there. That's one thing that I always check for, um, especially in a less expensive knife. And also when it's got really good action. That's oh, yeah. one thing that always worries me. If it's a less expensive knife with a really good action, I'm like, well, does it have any blade play? Because that's usually where that comes from. And from but, with that one with the blade play that it has, as much as you sit around and flick them, yeah. not having blade play at the beginning, that's going to lend to not having blade play the longer you play with it. Yeah. And with that one, I'm really anxious to see what some of the uh, DIYers themselves take it and dye it to and do with it because what price is it? Thirty six eighty five. Thirty six eighty five. Thirty six eighty five. Free for that. I can definitely see some people taking that writ dyeing it, uh, maybe putting it on a grinder and coming up with a couple of different things to it. I'm really looking forward to yeah. seeing who all gets that one and what they do with it. I and the next that one, one too. Yeah, absolutely. Now this one's going to be a blue. Um, not quite a denim, but kind of a blue denim micarta. I got some jeans um, in that color. This one's called the Blue Jay. And really dig this one as well. This one's got a good look to it. Now this is gonna be the button lock version mm -hmm. and um, really good action there as well. This one's got the ambi thumb studs, but it's also got the blade flipper in the back. So you can pop right out there. It does have a little bit of a finger chill. I wouldn't trust it. My fingers are a little too fat yeah, for it. I, I tried it's a earlier. little too close right there on the blade edge. Yeah, my hands are bigger than yours. I tried but, it earlier. It, it did not work for sausage fingers. Yeah, no. Uh, does have a, I will say the only thing I don't like is the lanyard hole is a little bit on the small side, mm -hmm. but that's not a huge issue. A lot of people out there are not going to want lanyards anyways. And this one again, this one's coming in with 440A, but this one's a little bit larger knife and it's coming in at almost $10 cheaper at $27.95. Again, so under 30 bucks, the DIYers out there, the ones that like to dye them. Uh, try crazy things on them. All the things I see on Instagram and I'm very jealous of you all being able to do, these are the great ones to do that on. And again, no blade play at all either. And really good action. I, I dig that for a budget option right there. It's gonna be super flicky, but also you're not gonna be, you know, distraught if you uh, mess it up, mess up the oh, edge. definitely a good work. Or uh, lending it to somebody and losing it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to be distraught over, you know, twenty seven ninety five. dollars Carry that second knife when they say, you got a knife, you say, why? Exactly. You, what are you cutting? <laughs> and then I usually hand them something that it's impossible for them to lose. Bright orange. <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> mm. Next up is uh, going to be one of my favorites. And everyone knows that I usually, and I talked about this with the uh, Jack Wolf, usually don't like wood handles on knives. Um, the main reason being, I don't, I don't really like wood mainly based on the conditions that I'm in because I'm typically out on the farm or out in the woods, uh, either islands. really wet with, you know, Deep a wet case. environment or um, really sweaty in the summertime. Yeah. So, and also varying temperatures because I'm going, I, I'm outside literally the entire year. So, from uh, 100 degrees down to, I think you know, we had negative five last year with our load. Yeah, we had we had like yeah, it, we had a couple of days. We had a full week that it was yeah. in the single digits, and so typically with my experience, as far as a carry knife, wood doesn't hold up that well no. for me. So it, it expands and contracts a lot, mm -hmm. especially with moisture, with temperature. But this right here, it's pretty. It is. So this is going to be, now that I've waxed poetic about this uh, this whole time, um, the Case Brown Maple Burl Wood Small Congress Pocket Knife. So this Say that one, three times fast. Case Brown Maple Burl Wood Small Congress Pocket Knife. Case Brown Maple Burl Wood Small po Congress Pocket Knife. I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. 
So uh, I love the wood grain in this, and it's really easier to see on the uh, on the backside right there. But beautiful, beautiful coloring in that maple burl right there. Was oh, that the bomb shield on that one? Yes, like this that. is the bomb shield, and I like that too. Um, really dig the bomb shield, and this of course is the four blade version of the Small Congress, which is the vault pattern this year. And we ain't got um, much left of this year. Brass pins, brass liners, and nickel silver on the bolsters, and this one's coming in with their True Sharp Surgical Steel uh, on the blades right there, all four blades. And that one's coming in at $87.99. Now, I will say, um, stay tuned because coming up, should be tomorrow, is going to be National Knife Day. Stay tuned for that because that's gonna be a huge day for giveaways for us. Stay tuned all day long because we're gonna be doing giveaways all throughout the day as premieres on the channel here. So stay tuned for that. New stuff, also, new stuff this year, so pay attention. Yeah. Listen to what we're saying. It's gonna be- Do what it's, PC says, do gonna the be things. Done, uh, it's gonna be done a little bit different this year, but we're still giving away the same amount of stuff. There's mm -hmm. more. I mean, we, we have hundreds of items. Um, that we're going to be giving away for National Knife Day. And then as it, uh, as it uh, pertains to Case, two days later on Saturday, the 26th, will be Case President's mm -hmm. Day. That will also be our 45th anniversary. I can't believe we're that old. 45th anniversary. I'm not. <laughs> um, and don't forget, we also have Jeep Invasion Weekend. Yes. So, hey, if you've got a Jeep, come see us. Get we'll duck you. Duck you. I usually say that to TC. I'm saying it to you this time. Duck you. <laughs> I really thought you were going to go for uh, the, the DuckTales theme song. I really did. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Okay, enough of that. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got Case President's Day coming up, and that's going to be a really big deal as well. So if you get a chance to get to the store on Saturday, the 26th of August, it's going to be a huge day here. Deals, specials, everything throughout the store. Get to meet Kevin and Tyler and everybody else. Yep. Just come by. Say hi to Maury. It's always fun talking to Maury. Yeah. Um, this is a new knife from MKM and we've, uh, we've talked about this knife. I think we saw it for the first time either at Blade West last year or maybe at SHOT Show this year. You saw it at West because I didn't and, see this. Um, I love this thing. So this is called the MKM Mura. I'm assuming that's correct. M I U R A, Mira. I think, I think we need to call Igor, ask him. Most of the time, I like to troll you guys and pronounce stuff incorrectly on purpose. So if I don't stumble across it and I pronounce it wrong, it's usually intentional just to get you mad and get you typing in the comments. All right, yeah, of course. So, just so you know, for all you keyboard warriors out there that like to get riled up, this one I'm actually not sure about. So, it's the MKM Mira. Let's take a look at that one up close. So, this one's gonna be a really, really cool knife. Satin M390 on the blade steel, which MKM does really well. They are really mm -hmm. known for their M390 blades. Um, this one is a little bit more pricey. This one's coming in at $329.99, but there's a reason for that, all right? So this one is a solid titanium frame and it is a one piece. So a mm -hmm. monolithic frame right there, all milled out of one piece. And uh, you know, in, you can look at the handle, the only screw in this thing, other than what's holding on the pocket clip on the back end here, is going to be the pivot screw right there. The thing that, the, the, the issue that that causes is going to be precision, because these have to be precisely milled so that they fit together perfectly. And this one, again, like we were talking earlier, has mm -hmm. zero blade play. So that has to be CNC precision milled, and it takes a lot when you think about it, milling that just right so that the blade fits in there just right, it actually actuates just perfect with, you know, actually I think this one is using phosphor bronze washers it looks like. Might be ball bearings, I could be wrong. Eh, it feels like ball bearings. But, I mean, just absolute precision on that and just really gorgeous gives it a nice clean look when there's no screws like tainting well, that you have to give it to the italians to come up with a new take on a gentleman's knife like that because that's what that is that is yeah. all class carry it to church carry it in the boardroom uh the pocket clip on that's reversible right they can just take it and flip it yes. around yeah I mean, and you do have a lanyard there if a hole there if you want to use it but it is sleek, it is classy, it is nice. It gives me that uh, golf ball feel almost. Yeah. That, that, that's what that milled titanium reminds me of on there. And like I said, really great action and just 
super super nice right mm -hmm. there absolutely love we've got that two thing. or three versions of that correct yes we've got uh we've got a couple of different versions i think in a bronze and a blue anodized so the 329 stuff. for the titanium i think those are a, a step down on price yeah. as well so if you like the look of it and the price is holding you back go take a look at those as well now to, to help out some of our other people that are always asking us when we're getting more new rough riders in or expanding a series by popular demand you guys have helped us create three brand new ones we have the angry lighting bug <laughs> then the angry tangerine the mean tangerine mean tangerine. mean tangerine mean tangerine and adding on to the food the tater tot the tater tot everybody loved the uh tater skin uh series for our fighter so much and kevin and brian and everybody else uh, especially with JB and his crowd taking the tadpole everywhere and they yeah. had watermelon showing up. They decided to do a tater tot right there and I absolutely love that thing. Tater tot coming in uh, at eleven ninety nine, one one and a half inches on that clip point blade right there. Spring and uh, of course got the tater finish on mm -hmm. the blade. Um, and then of course the brown burlap micarta on the handles right there. Uh, not a full four finger grip, but close. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it is spring assisted and uh, watch this pop out there. And that thing is just so quick. Yeah. Now to go with the, the green and the orange on these to make my little 80s kid heart just sing on these. These are meant to glow in the dark and they do. They do glow in the they dark. They we'll, we'll take some kind of film and insert it here over TC's face now. On the dark. And then also the angry lightning bug. Um, so I think I'm actually going to have to get one of these now because lightning bug my right? farm is uh, Firefly Creek. So this one, uh, this one kind of fits in there. I think you and Liz are going to get it. Come on. Focus. Come on, camera, focus. R5, focus. we love you. Thank you, R5. There we go. Look at I, I think you're going to have to get one for you and Liz. I'm, I'm going to have to get one for Amy because green is her favorite color. And she's the one that named the angry watermelon originally yep. by accident. Uh, so I think I have to get her the green one there. She doesn't even know about it yet. And this yep. is coming out. This show's coming out on her birthday. That could be her birthday. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. happy birthday! Happy birthday! I know better than how, how old I want to stay married. Um, Never ask a lady. No, her age. No. So we'll just ask what year they were born. <laughs> um, that's that's right because we can't do math. Uh, and, that's not the only rough rider we got. We got one more. Yep, we well, got one more. The kinda. tattoo series. We actually got five more. But um, these are really cool. So this is our new tattoo series. This has been a long time coming. So we actually found out about these um, almost a year ago. Mm -hmm. And we started talking to Brian about these. Really like this concept. And this one, so it's a modern folder, more of a tactical style. Mm -hmm. Really great action. But well, wait, what is that? That is a bone inlay on that handle right there. A bone inlay, and it comes with the kit that you can do the Scrimshaw artwork with. So it has the entire Scrimshaw kit inside the box right there. So you've got your inks, and so these are gonna be, and here's the thing, so these can only be shipped via ground mm -hmm. because this uses a specialized kind of ink that is flammable so these cannot that ship. is not a challenge yeah Th these cannot ship air and also we want you to know that you need to store this properly mm -hmm. don't leave it in your car flammable liquid so don't leave it in a really hot environment mm -hmm. nice cool dry environment um, and so this is actually one that um, we had a guy uh, on the assembly line yeah he do. did it himself now that's the one that he did, yeah. and this is the naked knife. Yep, this so. is what it actually looks like without any of the artwork on it. So you can see, he did a fantastic job on that. And uh, I tried to we want to see yeah. what you guys can come up with and what you guys can do. Because I tried to lay claim to that one, but Brian's already said that one's going on the wall. That's the yeah. very first one to be done. So That's that's a, that's a good one. Yeah. And, and, I'm and very if you don't well want done. it in that champagne, we actually have it in five different varieties. Yep. So we got the blue, so all of these are coming in at forty four ninety nine. Mm -hmm. We've got the blue one, and I like I like this shape. And this is typically not my favorite blade shape, but I really dig that right there. It gives you a nice surface area to do the scrimshaw artwork on. 
And the attention to detail, because you not only got the blue there, but flip it over, you got the blue pivot collar on the back yep. and that blue thumb stud attention detail. So each of these are going to have that little matchy matchiness to it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we've got it in purple with the black coating and this one, oh yeah. Karen's already said she's getting one. That absolutely pops right there. I, I love that right there. And I think that might be what I send Jaylen right there to see what kind of artwork she That's comes the, up with. The minute we saw these, we thought Jaylen immediately. So, yeah. and then for JB, of course, got the red for Fridays. You don't have as big a piece of bone on that one, but it, man, is that pretty. Oh yeah, it is. And these fly out there as well. And there's so many things you could do to customize that, Very that much. scrimshaw art, so. And then the last one we Simon. have here, the silver and red with uh, with the details. Really nicely done right there. Seven CR on the blade steel. Mm -hmm. um, and just really well done. These are all going to be super great action and all of them are going to be frame locks as well. Uh, all bearings, I made sure to check with him on that. All so bearings they, they... and blade flippers and ambi thumb studs. Mm -hmm. So if you're fidgety, these are all gonna work great. And it, all of these come with the full scrimshaw kit. That is the reason for the pricing. And when you get the kit, it will come with the knife secured to it right here. Yep. So it comes to you just like that. You can carry it around, show it off. Cause that is, once you do it there, that is one of a kind. So all you tattoo artists out there, all you people doing flash art, everything up, this just cries mm -hmm. out for that kind of stuff. Yeah. And of course the boxes are really cool too. Oh, I love these. I it did a really good job on, uh, on the box art and the box design right there. So you got your design your own tattoo knife kit right there from Rough Rider. Uh, comes with the etching tools, India ink, swabs, steel wool, and the carrying pouch right there. I love that. I it's very nice. That. I like so, it. Yeah. I like it whenever we think out of the box. Well, let us in know the box. in the box. In the cool. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought about those and what you thought about all these knives. Which one was your favorite? What are you carrying, Greg? I am carrying a boker. I didn't even know you were picking out all the bokers today. Boker but I got, day, a, I, got a, I got a nice little Boker, boker fit. Yeah. Now on this one, this is the one everybody was complaining about that the pocket clip being so high on it. I've carried this thing for like a couple of weeks now, no problem. Isaac found out something though when you tried to remove that. Don't do it because that's where the spring is. That's how you hold the spring for yeah. the button. So the button is immediately on the other side. You take that. You take that out. Uh, you don't have a springy spring no more. A springy spring. Springy spring. It just kind of no no it doesn't. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. What are you so, carrying? I am carrying my brand new Ocaso. You got the, yeah, you've not taken that thing out of your pocket. I love this thing. Uh, this is the Ocaso. You, you should be so glad you were actually in office when that came in. That could, that could have been in my pocket. This is the Ocaso Solstice right there. S35 VN on the blade steel titanium on the handles. And this one is the one that I've been waiting on because Rick showed me this one mm -hmm. earlier on this year. And uh, I've been waiting on that uh, harpoon blade shape. I, I want to make sure that Isaac sees this knife really good and gets a good look at this one because um, he was very upset. He he really. You know he this. could use a harpoon blade. He's at the beach. That's where those need to be at. <laughs> it's like you. It's like that's the harpoon yes. blade's uh, natural habitat. Exactly. Well, that's I mean, where it needs to be at. Well, he normally takes you know bench mates to the beach and buries them in sand and then brings them back for us to fix. Yeah. We have to grind down stuff because he's again. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, that's what I'm carrying. Uh, let us know in the comments down below which one was your favorite knife, and let us know more about what you guys want to see. As always, folks, it's been me, TC, here with Smoking Out Knife Works, along with Greg. Isaac on vacation. He will be editing this video though. Well, he's in management. Can and we really tell the difference when he's here or not? Sometimes. Um, so, as always, folks, if it cuts like a new knife at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, then we 